Hi guys, it's Nevada. A lot of you have been interested in what I eat since I'm vegan, so I thought it would be cool to make a what I eat in a day type of video since I make both Indian and American vegan foods. I'm starting off my morning with some coffee. I don't really have a coffee maker or anything special like that, so I'm actually just using instant coffee, and you just add a spoonful of this to some boiling water. So this flavor is French roast, and I can never have my coffee black, so I got some Calfia Better Half, basically dairy-free creamer, and it gives a really nice nutty hazelnut flavor to it, which I love. And then I also add a heaping spoonful of sugar because I absolutely need sugar in my coffee. But basically it's either coffee or tea in the morning and then I'll be moving on to breakfast which I'm going to be having dosa which is basically like a Tamil staple breakfast or even just all day food. So you can definitely make dosa I guess from scratch using rice, lentils, water and grind it up but for me it's easiest to just get a ready made dosa mix. You can get this at basically any Indian grocery store. It's just super easy to have. I can take it with me to school. I can use it on my own. So this is what I use. So for now, I'm just adding four large spoonfuls of this dosa mix and then adding in one to two tablespoons of water just to make the consistency a little bit more runny. You don't want it to be really pasty or anything like that. So once you get the consistency you want, you can go on to cooking it. Most people use oil on their dosa pan, but I tend to cook with a little bit less oil. So I'm actually gonna be rubbing a slice of potato on the pan itself and this is gonna help to prevent the dosa from sticking. And what you do is you basically put the batter onto the pan and starting from the inside out, you're just gonna make circular motions and spread out the dosa. I like mine really thin, so as you can see, I spread it out all the way to the ends of the pan. And you cook this on each side for under a minute just until it turns like brown and crispy. And then flip it over, let it cook on that side, and then basically you're done. Obviously my dosa scales aren't that great and my pan clearly has a lot of character to it, but this is how you make dosa. I'm just gonna add one more dosa to it also. I'm only showing two dosas, but to be honest, I eat about like four or five at a time. All right, so for me, the easiest thing to make and eat with dosas is a coconut chutney. So I'm starting off with half a cup of roasted chickpeas. You can definitely use things like almonds or peanuts or cashews instead of the chickpeas. To that, I'm gonna be adding a quarter cup grated coconut. This is in the freezer section of any Indian grocery store. You can definitely use fresh coconut if you want to, but half a cup to a quarter cup ratio of the lentils and the coconut. And then I'm gonna be adding two medium green chilies. This obviously you can change up for your preferred level of spiciness, but I'm basically chopping up some green chilies, adding that to my blender and then you need to add water, but you wanna add water kind of based on what you want the consistency to be. So I guess I would say don't go more than half a cup of water. I'm starting off with a quarter cup water. I'm gonna blend it a little bit and then check the consistency, make sure that it's not too watery yet, which clearly it isn't. So then I'm just gonna finish adding the rest of my water in and just blend that out completely. So once the chutney is the consistency that you like, you can just add salt to taste. Here I'm adding about half a spoon of salt and just mixing it up together. So with my dosa, I always have chutney and this is really simple, really easy to make, really healthy. And then I also have this store-bought garlic chutney which is just super salty, super flavorful, so I add that as well. As a little morning snack, I'm gonna be having a mango. And I know a lot of people eat their mangoes by kind of making a checkered pattern on the fruit and then I guess inverting it and biting it out, but I hate that mango gets in your teeth really easily. So I like to use a glass and kind of slide the flesh of the mango across the glass and let it slide into the cup. And this really gets all the flesh off of the skin so you're not wasting any of the fruit. But you basically just put a lot of pressure on the side of the glass and let the fruit slip out of it. I dice up my mangoes like this and then I just like to eat it with a fork. So that's what I'm gonna be doing as a snack. For lunch, I'm just making a really simple, fast vegan pizza. So I'm gonna start by prepping my vegetables. So I'm just using some green peppers, some cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, and also broccoli. My dog was begging for some food, so I just wanted to showcase his clearly amazing catching skills. So proud of him.
Because my pizza is thin crust, it only takes about 10 minutes to cook and I just top it off with some red chili peppers and some Italian seasoning. I also drench my pizza in sriracha sauce just because your girl needs her spice. And that's basically it for lunch. Clearly I'm only showing a slice here, but I'm gonna eat the whole pizza. With it, I'm gonna have some kombucha, which is basically just like a probiotic sparkling drink. It's really strong, especially this one. It's like an apple cider vinegar, so I mix it in with some water. And that's my lunch. So as a second snack, I'm going to be taking a protein shake with me to my dance class. I use the Veggie Elite Protein Powder, which is my current favorite. I used to use the About Time Vegan Protein Powder and it just wasn't as good. It was more fat and less protein per serving and this Veggie Elite is also not sweetened with stevia, which I really like. But I'm actually not going to be using this today. I'm going to be using a protein shake powder that a company sent me. So this is from Arbon, which is a all-over vegan cruelty-free company. They make cosmetics, they make like dietary supplements. It's really nice, so I wanted to give this a try. When I make my shakes, I usually add a cup of water and a cup of almond milk to the shake, only because when it's just water, it's too watery, and when it's just almond milk, it's way too creamy for me. I also add a banana just to give it a little bit more flavor, and I'm just going to blend this in my Nutri-Ninja. I actually didn't end up liking this powder that much. It's definitely too sweet for me, but um, I just wanted to show you guys that it's a great company. They do make a lot of vegan products and cosmetics, so just putting their name out there. Finally, for dinner, I'm gonna be making kind of a makeshift vegan chipotle bowl type of thing. I'm using wild rice just because I really like the flavor and texture of wild rice. And for a cup of wild rice, you're supposed to use about two cups of liquid. So I'm using one cup vegetable stock and one cup water just to add a little bit more flavor into the rice itself. So you basically bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for about 40 to 45 minutes. So while that is cooking, I'm going to be making some of my greens and additions to the bowl. So I'm going to be starting off with green peppers, onions, and some green chilies. Then I'm going to be cooking my tofu. So I'm using extra firm tofu. I've already drained it of its water. And I'm just slicing it and then kind of cutting it up into little squares. And I'm going to be marinating this or pseudo marinating it with coriander, cumin, and cayenne pepper. Also adding a little bit of lemon juice and you can use salt if you want to. I'm just gonna be applying this on a pan and kind of coating it with the seasoning and then I'm gonna bake this in the oven for about 15-20 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. While the tofu is cooking on a pan I'm just gonna cook my onions and my green peppers with a little bit of diced garlic. Once that's cooked I'm going to finish up the tofu and then add canned black beans that I've just drained the um, salty water out of. Let that cook for a little bit and then add in my greens and my onions. Lastly, I'm gonna be making a guacamole. So I'm adding minced garlic, scooping out a full avocado and just mashing this up. I'm also gonna be adding some salt, pepper and lemon juice as well as some diced cherry tomatoes. And when that's done, I'm just gonna assemble the bowl and that is dinner. So those are just a few of the many things that I eat on any given day. I really hope that you guys like this kind of video in addition to the beauty videos. If you have any questions about the recipes or just about being vegan, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.